Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm so excited to be here and a lot of friends and, you know, a lot of uh, new friends also being here. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, today the talk is about the incentive uh, in, inside the, uh, the blockchain ecosystem. So, uh, it's quite important and let me share with... So, let's start with, uh, the presentation just a couple of uh, questions. How many of you guys you, you have actually hold a crypto uh, token? You just raise your hand. Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, about uh, 90 percentage, right? So good, cool. Uh, that's the cool thing. So uh, last week I was in Harvard, so only 20% people, they just <laughs> raised their hand. Oh, that's uh, no bad. And uh, that's no good, right? So I also, uh, before the Harvard, I'm being to uh, a meetup in, uh, yeah, in Berkeley. So also 100% people, they, they raised their hand. <laughs> and, uh, Next question is how many people you actually know uh, Nebulous and you just raise your hand. Uh, okay, about 30%. Okay, so how many uh, people actually hold, you know, the Nebulous token hold, holder? Cool, it's about 15%. That's cool, <laughs> that's cool, yeah. So last time I was in Berkeley and uh, the figure is about uh, 30%. They guys actually uh, Nebulous token holder and big fan, you know, for Nebulous. And I'd like to thank you all you guys, you know, to support, to, you know, you have a choose to believe in the blockchain future. Like, you know, with some uh, uh, good blockchain project like Nebulous, right? We believe in the future, we build, we keep, then uh, we are the believer and then we keep doing the contribution. No matter what, you know, the price is, uh, uh, is pump and it's down, right? So the price right now is not so good. Every people uh, thinking about the price, talk about the price and what's, what's gonna happen, you know, for the future. To be honest, I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me such price question, right? If I, <laughs> I don't know, to be honest, but the main purpose I'm being here is so I want to, you know, I'll, we are the believers, you know, for blockchain, for the decentralized the autonomous uh, organization, the whole idea. And then we are the contributor, you know, to keep building, you know, the new world and keep building, you know, for, to, uh, to help you guys or, uh, you know, how can I say that? To build the whole community to discover the new world to make the new rules, right? So that's quite important, especially in Manhattan, especially in Wall Street. That's quite important because people in Wall Street, uh, based my understanding, you guys are quite, you know, comfortable with ties and sh uh, shoes, right? So, yeah. So, but a lot of geeks in, uh, in, in West Side or in, in Beijing, we are the, uh, geeks inside. We don't care about the appearance. We just care about the true technology. You know, we can make uh, make things different, right? That's the main uh, main thing. Yeah. So let's uh, begin with the. Yeah, it's about three, uh, four parts. The first part is about uh, me, but it's not only about me. It's about the whole community uh, happening in China. I mean, the whole Bitcoin on the blockchain community. And the second part is about the thinking blockchain. I will uh, raise my understanding, you know, for blockchain. And the third part is about nebulous thinking. So we, uh, I will present some uh, core features for nebulous. Uh, and uh, the last part is uh, moving forward. That is my uh, history or experience in this space. So uh, everything I mentioned, uh, I'm the founder, not the Alibaba thing, <laughs> sorry about this, uh, <laughs> but I'm still the uh, founder for uh, Alibaba's uh, blockchain, uh, whole blockchain uh, platform team, still the only one. 
in Alibaba Group. So uh, back to the year 2013, I founded uh, uh, the, uh, the first uh, blockchain community in China, Get Angels Club, I call it, uh, we call this. It's the, also, I, I organized the, the first uh, global uh, Bitcoin summit in China. It's the year 2014, May. At that time, Vitalik uh, was 19. He firstly, uh, he first came to China and mentioned about the Ethereum project, also the smart contract, you know, the keywords, yeah. And the second uh, thing is about the NEO. So probably everyone in this space know about NEO, right? It's a quite star uh, shining uh, project in, in China, from China. So that's the first uh, blockchain project in China. I will mention that later, the history about and shares or NEO. And uh, the GenPay, it's the first uh, Bitcoin cross-border payment system. FVG, the first uh, blockchain, uh, I mean, the token fund uh, in Asia. Uh, the ICO 365, so uh, it's the earliest and the, the largest uh, ICO platform uh, in China. We, we, we raised the, we have, you know, those blockchain projects rise about uh, I think uh, at least uh, 100, uh, it's about 200 million USD dollar for, you know, for ICO, yeah. And uh, the first uh, uh, blockchain department in Alibaba group, I mean the anti financial, it's uh, Alipay, it's like PayPal in West, right? So uh, it's, the last one is uh, Nebulous, yeah. So that's the, picture we talked, that's the, that, that's the first one, the Global Bitcoin uh, Conference, it's year 2014, and the second one in Hong Kong, the, uh, this one in Beijing, National Convention Center, and this is the third one also in Beijing, and this is the last one uh, in Shanghai, so year 2017. We have we have uh, we had about uh, two thousand people attendees, you know, uh, in Shanghai for this conference. So this picture uh, talked uh, about, I think six, five or six years ago. Uh, talked in uh, earlier year uh, two thousand fourteen. So at that time, we I'm the founder for BitAngels Club. And those guys are co-founders, you know, for Bit Angels Club. So uh, we feel much more comfortable, uh, you know, when we have a meetup, because at that time, not every people know better, you know, for Bitcoin. They think uh, Bitcoin. They mostly think uh, Bitcoin is like a Ponzi or scam things like that. But you know, we feel much more warmed when we get, you know, uh, meeting up, right, together. So, uh, you can see uh, Mr. Da Hongfei, uh, Mr. Ju Xie. Yeah. All these guys are pioneers in this industry, in, I mean, in China. And all these guys are actually are financial free right now. It's not the, we are not the, definitely we are not the most uh, smartest, uh, smart people, you know, on the earth. We just, uh, we have some belief, you know, for Bitcoin. We have some belief for some decentralized uh, decentralization and uh, autonomous right uh, organization. So that's a picture we took also in year 2014. I think in March, right? Vitalik also the whole community. So uh, yes, I write down the first version, uh, first white paper happened in China. Uh, the white paper is for NCS. Uh, and for Neo, right? Uh, so just uh, a little story about NCS and Neo. Uh, I, after the first uh, Bitcoin conference in Beijing, I then I moved back to Shanghai. So I talk with our uh, team members. Uh, so I think uh, Vitalik mentioned uh, the uh, Ethereum. Why not we have our own blockchain project in China? So that's the very beginning for uh, NCS or NEO. So uh, our team member picked me as a 
CEO as the zero zero one uh, founder for uh, Neo. So I pick a uh, two person. One is uh, Mr. Da Hongfei. He currently in charge of this project, and uh, the another one is uh, uh, Arrow Wang, uh, also the co-founder for Nebulous. So uh, that's the first version of white paper I, I, I write down in year 2014, uh, uh, June. So yeah, being as a CEO, the character, the CEO role for Nebula, uh, for Ensures is a little bit difficult at that time because uh, uh, my two major thing, the first thing is about recruiting people. I recruited uh, the current C CTO, Mr. Zhang Zhengwen, for Neo. And the uh, most interesting part is about the uh, founder raising. Yeah. No one understand. So I talked uh, with uh, almost uh, a lot of uh, famous angel investors in China. They feel very confused about the business model because we don't have business model, right? We don't have we don't have even the company structure. We are pretty uh, it's totally open sourced, and we share everything, you know, to the uh, yeah. So uh, so they feel a little bit complicated. Uh, feel a little bit confused about the business model, the revenue, and even the profit. So I it's it was very hard to explain them, you know, for. Uh, the blockchain project. So I only uh, found raised about uh, uh, how can I say it? it's thirty thousand USD dollar. But thirty thousand USD dollar is not enough to you know to initiate initiate the project. So then uh, I have a internal uh, meeting with our team member. I I said. Uh, if we think this project is going to be huge, if we think this project is uh, very interesting you know, to, to run, why not we found a race you know, by ourselves? So I talk about, uh, for, for me, I talk about 10,000 USD dollar. Then uh, other team member uh, talk about uh, from 2,000 to 10,000. Finally, we, we got uh, uh, 100,000 USD dollar to start the project. That's the, that's the first uh, ICO happened in China, I believe. That's the, you know, that's the first ICO happened in China. But it's, it's, uh, I think uh, right now it's very, uh, the first ICO, the main purpose is not about the, the cash, the money. The main purpose is about uh, we need to, you know, fund the risk by ourselves because no one trusts us. No one, you know, see the future for such blockchain project. And I don't think uh, we are the smartest uh, people, right? But right now the investment rate is quite good. It's a, uh, it's about uh, thirty times, uh, thirty thousand times, I think. Uh, no, maybe not 30, I think it should be 100,000 times. 100,000 times for the whole risk investment rate, right? So we don't believe if, you know, I jump into the, uh, you know, to jump into the, the, the time, you know, year 2014, I talk with hitters to say, oh, you're going to be super rich for this investment. I don't believe myself at that time. Because uh, we believe so the investor should be smart people. If they don't understand uh, such project, why we, we're gonna be super rich, right? We believe we do this project, it's just about the you know the belief we have. We want to have a fun, we want to make something different, you know, for such a decentralized uh, autom auto autonomous organi organization, right? So that's the also, the first white paper, first ICO, and the first uh, Chinese blockchain project happened. Uh, we talked about this picture, uh, I think, uh, eight months before. 
it's the also the conference uh, hap, uh, happened in Shanghai in year 2017. That's me and Mr. Da Hongfei and uh, Mr. Errol Wang. It's about a small uh, little story about uh, the first uh, blockchain project, right? For Neo and for Insures. Uh, the second part is about the thinking in blockchain. What's the thinking in blockchain? What's the fundamental thing for thinking in blockchain? In China, we talk a lot for thinking in internet. I'm not very sure you guys have such topic in West. Uh, for thinking in internet, the basic uh, fundamental thing is about uh, we think internet is gonna be huge, right? That's the same thing happened uh, for this topic. So for thinking in uh, blockchain, we believe the blockchain world itself is gonna be, be become huge enough and to, to hold a lot of uh, interesting application like, uh, you know, uh, internet world, like the Facebook in internet world, like the Google in internet world. This, uh, that would be totally different, you know, for the normal, for the uh, traditional business model, you know, compared with the internet, right? And uh, this is the figure I want to show, uh, despite, you know, this is uh, not very good timing right now, right? So uh, in year 2000, that's the global uh, population, you know, global user for digital assets. Uh, in year 2013, this figure is about 2 million. And uh, the beginning of uh, year 2017, this figure about uh, 20 million. So right now, I believe it should be the figure is about uh, 50 million. So you can see uh, for every three years, it's, 10 it's, it's about 10 times. Right, so we believe around the year 2020, this, uh, the figure should be about 200 million, and uh, before it's just around the uh, you know year 2025, this figure is about uh, one billion. That's a huge population will will happen you know for blockchain, and also right now this figure for coin cap the global coin coin market cap so, so this figure maybe not not right you know for this moment it should yeah. be like uh, three three it's like a four four hundred billion I mean yeah much more like this and uh, we believe before year 2020 this figure should be one trillion so if you think about this uh, figure about the population about the total coin cap we believe, you know, the blockchain world is going to be huge. And uh, there should be some, you know, unicorn happened in the blockchain world. And uh, there should be some uh, very special business model, very special application happened in the blockchain world. Like, you know, Google happened in internet world like Facebook happened in the internet world. That's the, you know, the graph, that's the, the figure we, you know, we think. And uh, what is the blockchain? So for my understanding, I think a blockchain is a data ownership. It represents the data ownership, yeah. Sure, uh, surely it's uh, in decentralized way, right? So um, for internet, it's just like uh, the data connection. So we connect uh, with each other by uh, WeChat, by Telegram, by Twitter, right? So, and uh, blockchain just built on internet. It represents uh, data ownership. And the token actually is the carrier of the ownership with incentive actually you know uh, for decentralized world as I said before you know for the de uh, decentralized world no one can give us order directly you know it's a, it's the centralized server so the token represents the also the data ownership or the also the command you know in decentralized world the token 
uh, can talk with you know each nodes, and uh, con uh, you know for the data, right? So for Bitcoin, just uh, one piece of data for e currency. For the uh, e currency, right? We believe there will be more and more data happened uh, on blockchain. If you guys have, have any question, just raise about this topic, right? Okay. The real spirit of uh, blockchain, we think uh, this uh, three, three things. Yeah. The first thing is about community. Because uh, the total uh, structure for blockchain, the economical structure is totally uh, different for some traditional uh, company, right? So for a traditional company like uh, Microsoft or Google, they just uh, top to down structure, right? But uh, for uh, for some true uh, blockchain project, the total structure is like the down to top. So we open source everything. We support each other, you know, for the project like the ICO. We even, we don't have a business model. So it's like the, we're based on the community. I'm not very sure you guys get the idea, so yeah. If you have a question, just uh, it just rise. Okay, okay. The second uh, uh, keyword is about token. So I, as I mentioned, the token just uh, represent the the, uh, the carrier of the data ownership. So also represent the, the command. You know, in decentralized world, it's quite important. You know. And the third thing about the tools and the application. So as I work in Alibaba. Just uh, like uh, other big company uh, on the earth, like uh, also I think uh, like Microsoft or Google. So a lot of uh, big company they mentioned, oh, blockchain technology is quite interesting. We want to implement, you know, that this technology into our product. They just, uh, I think, uh, you know, this just a uh, limited angle for uh, for the uh, for this topic. Yeah, why? Because they just treat blockchain technology just uh, as a uh, tools or applications. If you just treat a uh, uh, blockchain itself is just a uh, tools or applications, definitely it's not it's not the right thing. You think about the internet. You know, thirty years ago, uh, when I was in not the thirty years, twenty years ago, yeah, uh, uh, fifteen years ago, yeah. So when I was in college about uh, year 2000, yeah, in year 2000, I, uh, I did a lot of things, you know, for the company website happened on internet. So at that time, uh, most of uh, uh, traditional companies, they just treat internet as a tool or just a media, right? So they just, they did, so they want to publish the adver uh, advertisement. They want to publish their company website, you know, on internet. Like the you know the big company name and the, the chairman picture, right? It's uh, uh, things like that. But right now, no one pay really pay attention to those company website. Even you want to seeking a job, right? So that's the philosophy, you know, we need to think about it. Yet. If blockchain is just a, a tool or application itself, definitely it's not the most efficient way to handle those uh, uh, requirements, our daily requirements. So for blockchain, for my understanding, blockchain itself, you know, consists uh, about uh, the community and the token and the tools. That's the three major keywords about the whole uh, the whole uh, idea so our thinking in blockchain I, uh, we think uh, blockchain is an organism and uh, economy I think we think uh, uh, native incentive is the first uh, primary driving force of blockchain evolution. So the incentive we believe uh, that's quite important, you know, for the whole network. 
because no one uh, force you, you know, do the mining or no one force you to maintain the open ledger, right? So the blockchain itself, you know, consists a lot of uh, decentralized ledger, right? So uh, for Bitcoin, we do the mining, right? And the third thing is about nebulous thinking. So let me uh, introduce a little about nebulous. We are uh, we have three keywords about nebulous. The first keyword is about the uh, I'd like to see it's about the value ranking. So uh, think about this like the Bitcoin. Bitcoin is just a one dimension thing. Bitcoin just uh, you know it's a decentralized e cash. So all things uh, uh, for Bitcoin it's just uh, uh, is like the send and the receive, right? You send the e cash to me, and I send the e cash to to you. So it's just it's uh, it's almost like a line, like a one dimension. So we call this a value uh, linking. It's a decentralized ledger, right? So the next uh, big thing is about Ethereum. Ethereum writes the idea, the very good idea for smart contract. So actually, the now we actually can you know build something on internet uh, on on blockchain. We actually can program, right? So with the idea for smart contract, a lot of uh, decentralized application or smart contract happened on this space. So let me ask you guys uh, for uh, for one question: How uh, how do you think? What's the fundamental element in blockchain? Uh, industry or in the blockchain techno technology, what's the fundamental element? How do you guys think? Come on. Okay. I think it's the trust that uh, everyone cannot cheat. Uh, uh, you mentioned this about the idea, I mean the element, the fundamental element. How do you think? Uh, also the idea, I mean the element, like the transaction or like the block, things like that. Uh, uh, contract, that's the one thing. Okay, that's good. Also, cryptography. That's, yeah, sure, that's the fundamental thing, right? And yeah, uh, anything else? Yeah. Blocks, right? Okay, uh, we believe the fundamental thing for blockchain itself it's about the addresses. Addresses is the basic element in blockchain industry, right? Because uh, everything, you know, like the data, like the e-currency, they just, uh, you know, combine with the addresses and uh, everything, including the smart contract, right? They, they are pretty, uh, they are addresses based, just like the web pages happened uh, you know uh, in internet everything is web pages web page based think about that this so uh, how about uh, you know for those two dimension how about uh, you know when more and more smart contracts or and the more and more decentralized application happen not uh, not all you know smart contracts is helpful for normal user and the normal user they don't have such judgment, you know, to see which smart contract is good for use, right? So for Nebulous, we raise the idea for value ranking. It's about we raise the, you know, just like the Google's page rank happens on internet. So we want to uh, give every addresses on blockchain, like uh, Bitcoin, like Ethereum. I mean, every addresses for all blockchains. And uh, we want to uh, provide the nebulous ranking score for every addresses, uh, for sure in decentralized way, right? So that's the main idea for value ranking. We want to, it's much more like the decentralized credit score. If we want to build a more interesting blockchain project or, or uh, applications, definitely you need some accessibility, you know, to support, we, we think 
we believe the the nebulous rank, rank mechanism is quite important for future applications. And the second keyword about the self-involving. And uh, I think uh, all of you guys uh, hear about the uh, uh, hard fork thing, right? The hard fork, and uh, it's, it's quite popular in these days. Uh, hard fork uh, represents one problem happened in this industry. The problem is that uh, it's not easy to do the system upgradation. It's not easy to do the bug fix in uh, for the blockchain application, right? Because you, you cannot just shut down all servers and do the system application. That's the thing. We can we cannot, right? So and uh, uh, there's some famous uh, 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 a lot of hard fork happened in this industry, like the e Ethereum and the Ethereum ETC, right? The classic, Ethereum classic. I think, uh, you know, for most of hard fork, they are not helpful, you know, for, you know, for, uh, for this industry. They just, uh, you know, just, just uh, divide uh, one cryptocurrency into two tokens and uh, even divide uh, one Mainnet into two, you know, uh, operation, uh, two uh, whole system, right? So, and uh, some people even invented the idea, invented the business model for like the IFO, the I initial fork offering. <laughs> that's that's too bad, right? So so a lot of uh, hard fork happened. Uh, they just rush for money. It's not bad. Uh, but that's not good, I think. Yeah, I don't agree with this uh, idea. So uh, we believe the self-involving mechanism is quite important. So we, uh, we, we do this you know, by the Nebulous Virtual Machine, NVM. We use the LLVM, the low-level virtual machine, used by Google and uh, Apple for a long time, right? So we put all protocols into the nebulous virtual machine. That means every time we, we want to do the system upgradation, we can vote. We, are, we provide a mechanism to try to resolve the hard fork issue. For example, if you have a new feature, uh, for, uh, for, for, uh, if, if you have a new feature, you can easily test it you know, for the side chain on the side chain first. Then if this new feature can really work, we can vote to merge them into the main chain. That's the idea. So what's the most important thing to, you know, for source blockchain? You know, what's the future for source blockchain? If the blockchain uh, project want to be the most successful one, I think the answer is uh, the blockchain can involve itself quickly, maybe can be the most uh, successful in future, I think, compared with, you know, Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum. Ethereum did a lot of, uh, you know, new features on, you know, like, but for Bitcoin, uh, community in Bitcoin, they always, you know, uh, have some arguments, right? So the uh, the involving speed for Bitcoin is not enough. And the third keyword about incentive, we raise this. Uh, we think uh, right now the incentive mechanism for uh, whole blockchain is not good. It's not good. And we raise this incentive idea for two uh, features. One is a POD, another one is a DIP. I will mention that later. So that's the, we want to, with the incentive idea, we want to make the, the whole blockchain as the positive feedback ecosystem. I think the positive feedback e ecosystem is quite important. You know, not just uh, you just store your Bitcoin and uh, you do, you just, uh, you know, uh, do the speculation. That's not, that's no good. And for the incentive mechanism, there's a two part for Nebulous. 
Uh, the first part about, uh, is for users. We want to encourage those users who really use, right? That's quite simple. Nowadays, a lot of people, they just store the cryptocurrency. They don't, they don't do anything, you know, for the whole uh, project. Like uh, you just store the ETH, you just store the uh, BTC, right? It's just uh, the most, uh, I think uh, the most application for daily use is about uh, exchanges. <laughs> I think for most of people, right? But it's not helpful, you know. We need some positive feedback and uh, we want to encourage users who really use the system. And uh, uh, that's the idea for POD, that's a proof of devotion. That's the uh, new me uh, consensus mechanism we want to rise. And the second part is about the developers. And uh, we want to in provide an incentive to those uh, programmers who really build, you know, in, uh, uh, build something for the whole system. That's the idea we raised for DIP. It's a, de uh, it's a developer incentive protocol. So let me think about this. Okay. So uh, the POD things is much like uh, if you are active user, you know, for daily use, you really use the system, you get a higher nebulous rank. And uh, if you want to become the bookkeeper to maintain the ledger for the whole system, the system will provide a priority to you. That's the quite simple, you know. That's the main uh, idea for POD. And the developers for source programmers, if you actually, you know, for example, I think uh, nowadays uh, source incentive, you know, for developer, they are not, uh, not right. For example, like Ethereum, if you are famous Ethereum uh, programmer, you program a famous application on Ethereum, more and more people use your system, use your application. You don't get any incentive. Even worse, you need to pay more gas. You know that? Because the computation and the data storage resources are quite expensive, you know, on chain. You guys are forced to have another ICO because you don't make any money. You need to pay more, right? But I think uh, for uh, a lot of people, they just rush for money. They just rush for, for money for some so shitty ICO, right? But a lot of people, actually, they are geeks inside. They just want, want to have fun, you know, on chain, right? Just like, uh, as I remember, it's the first uh, generation of uh, uh, iPhone. A lot of uh, you know, programmer they have a very interesting application happened on iPhone, right? So, uh, so we raised the idea for uh, DIP. So, like uh, for example, if we are famous programmer, more uh, if you if you are fam uh, if you are programmer and you get a famous you know application on Nebulous. And more and more people use your application, you get a higher nebulous rank. And the system will recognize you as a, a contributor for the whole system, right? The system, you get a higher ranking score, and the, the system will provide the developer incentive protocol to you guys. That's quite important because we believe, as I said, we believe we want to for, form a positive feedback looping system for, for the whole system, right? Because uh, you get incentive and uh, you, help, uh, the, uh, you help us, you know, to do the self-involving, to make the blockchain, uh, uh, the, the system better and better. Then also with the better uh, value ranking, ranking score we provide to you. That's the positive feedback loop. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a good question. The system, I mean, the, the incentive is about the native incentive by the whole system. So the system will pay them. Yeah, that's true. With native token, like Nebulous token. It's a native incentive mechanism, not a, by human being, you know. Yeah. OK, uh, the last part about moving forward. That's the thing, you know, at this moment, I want to emphasize more, right, to you guys. That's the thing, you know. You know. Uh, uh, yeah, I saw, you know, I've been this, I have been in this industry, I think, about six years. So every day the price is good, everyone is good, right? And the, when the price is bad, everyone talking about and ask, keep asking me, how do you think about the price? It's going to keep going down or, you know, things like that. But if you, you are the believers, you know, for this industry, if you are a believer for this new technology, definitely you don't care too much about the price. Definitely you, you want to seek the opportunity actually to build something for Nebulous or for, for the whole world, for blockchain, right? Uh, not only for Nebulous, right? <laughs> And that's the thing, yeah. That's also the key concept for thinking in blockchain. Uh, I think uh, I want to uh, mention the next uh, a big thing, you know, for Nebulous we're going to announce. It's about, uh, uh, how many guys know about Dolphin Browser? Just uh, raise your hand. Yeah. yeah, it's about 30%. It's good, OK. Dolphin Browser is a mobile uh, browser, you know, uh, it was quite famous, quite popular. I think uh, five years before, I think, yeah. They, they have uh, uh, about uh, 3,000, uh, uh, around 3,000 registered users, 3,000, uh, 300 million registered users. Yeah, sorry about this. Uh, <laughs> and uh, also with the, uh, I think, uh, 20 million for active daily uh, user. I mean, monthly user, yeah. So with uh, empowered by Dolphin, uh, you know, the mobile, I think that this is a re represent a combination, you know, between the blockchain world and the mobile internet world. The combination means a lot because uh, if a blockchain world want to develop uh, to have a future, definitely we need more traffic and we need more users, right? So we just announced the we, uh, Nebulous and the Dolphin Browser. We're going to release our, uh, the new decentralized token marketing protocol. We believe the traffic is the most important thing. It's also it, almost the most important thing for the industry. And uh, for example, uh, for Nebulous, we, we released the Nebulous uh, ranking score, right? Just like uh, we released the decentralized search framework. Much more like the Google, right? But for Google, the most profitable uh, product is about AdWords or AdSense. It's the advertisement network. So we believe the advertisement network will be, become the huge thing in blockchain world. So yeah, that's the thing, that's the thing, yeah. So regarding to the Google, uh, I, I, I have a little story about this. So I, I gave a speech uh, presentation uh, in last, uh, last uh, August in Mountain View, headquarters of Google. So because I worked for Google 10 years before uh, in Beijing, I mean, yeah. So the first question, it, there are almost uh, 200, uh, at least uh, 150 engineers, uh, you know, in this, in that, conf uh, in that uh, presentation. So firstly, I ask uh, one question. So the slogan for Google is quite famous, is for don't be evil, right? So I ask the question for, really, is that true? I got a, a about at least uh, one minute awkward, awkward silence. <laughs> they don't want to ask, answer me, right? So 
I think uh, the don't be evil, the slogan is, uh, is good, but not enough, because uh, uh, a lot of people have a doubt on, the, on this, because uh, for so super big international company, they, they just can't, right? They, they cannot become the don't be evil thing, because all things are centralized. Google has all control of our own personal data, and uh, you know they need they, they need to com comply with the local uh, local nation uh, nation like China, right? The regulation things, right? So we write the new uh, slogan for Nebulous. It's about uh, can be evil. I think cannot. It's a uh, cannot be evil. Uh, the philosophy is quite important for the can be evil thing because uh, these are three uh, important uh, keywords for can be evil. The first one is uh, the we open source the all codes, right? The second thing is uh, uh, the computation results you can easily verify for every node on ev every node. And the last thing is uh, the data storage is uh, totally decentralized. So that means, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, for nebulous, it uh, can be evil. I, I think uh, it's also uh, uh, good for source or true blockchain projects. That's the, also the slogan for can be evil, right? So, mm, okay, yeah. I think, uh, you know, for don't be evil, it's uh, like the, your parents just told you, don't be evil, right? Oh, don't be late, you know. Uh, when you are a teenage, uh, don't do the thing and do, don't do another thing. But everything your parents told you, you did, right? <laughs> <laughs> everything you did, right? But the can be evil is a much more humble way because it's not, uh, you know, the, your parents told you. It's, it's it's about uh, everyone is uh, have the equal right. It's much more decentralized as and uh, it's much more humble. That's the new slogan I think uh, for all blockchain projects. I mean true blockchain projects. I need to admit at least uh, uh, right now I I think at, at least the ninety percentage of blockchain projects in the market are shady, right? <laughs> They are not true blockchain project. They just rush for money. Uh, it's, uh, it's not good. It's not good. Okay, so that's uh, the last thing I want to uh, uh, you know emphasize. So think about uh, you know if a blockchain world is gonna be huge, what's the next thing for blockchain world? We think uh, you know the traffic and the user. Is 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 important, you know, for for future, and we want to build such, you know, protocol for those future. Okay, that's the context. We have our, our uh, Telegram, we have our Twitter. Uh, please, uh, if you like Nebulous, if you want to pay more attention on Nebulous, please follow us. We need your support. With the community support, we cannot be successful. We cannot be succeeded, you know, without your support because it's a decentralized way, you know. All things are transparent, right? Uh, yeah, you can follow this on that. Okay, we have a last last thing to announce. Yeah, we're gonna release. Uh, we're gonna uh, launch our Nebulous uh, Center in San Francisco. It's our uh, office, the official office in San Francisco, and uh, uh, it's a uh, it's quite downtown area. It's uh, not just cross cross street for for MoMA in San Francisco, and uh, mm, I think a uh, NAS center should not be the you know the NAS token holders. Uh, I gave a presentation. I gave a, a roundtable talk one month before in San Francisco in Nasdaq in Nasdaq Center, just a two block away from the Nas Center. So I think, uh, you know, maybe sooner or later, the Nas Center 
can be the real nut center for all blockchains, for all believers, you know, for this industry. And uh, you guys are highly welcomed to uh, in San Francisco to our nut center. We're gonna we, we want more connection, you know, with each other, and uh, we're gonna we want to provide more help, you know, to you guys. Thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you.